everyone, my name is Lizzie, and today we'll be talking about five tips to clear your rum. So I just want to say before the five tips, some people say that they have to degas their alcohol first, meaning removing the CO2, and they do so by shaking the jar and letting it air out, and that helps to clear the rum. Personally, I do not degas, I just want to know if you do, so drop a comment below and let me know, do you degas your alcohol? That being said, let's go for the five tips. So tip number one to clear your rum is using unflavored jello. So yes, this is an odd thing to add. And you can't just add a pack of unflavored jello into your alcohol because you'll have a thick layer at the bottom. So I got this tip from the Barley and Hops YouTube video. And what he suggests is to put your unflavored jello in some water, just follow the instructions and then put boiling water, wait two minutes. And once your jello is has marinated in that solution to pour it in the jar. Afterwards, you let it stir and then you wait 24 to 48 hours and it should be cleared. So I tried this. I didn't try a full pack of Jello. I tried about three quarters of the pack and it didn't work. Maybe it's because I didn't use the full pack. So I hope this works for you. Um, if, if, it, if it has, just let me know so I can try it next time since I have many packs left. So that's number one. The second tip to clear your wash is using Turbo Clear. So Turbo Clear is the same company as Turbo Yeast. And in Turbo Clear, you have a pack and you have two sides of the pack, part A and part B. Follow the instructions. You can put one after the other and it should help clear your rum wash. The third tip to clear your wash is to play the waiting game. So everything tends to go down with time and gravity will do its trick. If you just leave your jar out there, the yeast will eventually fall to the bottom and it'll clear the top part so you'll be able to siphon it out. The fourth tip to clearing your wash is to put it in the fridge. So I got this tip from a friend of mine and it makes sense since when the yeast is cold, the yeast becomes dormant and it falls to the bottom. So once your yeast is cold and it's at the bottom, the top part will also be able to clear and it's faster than playing the waiting game. You play the waiting game, but faster. So I've tried to put jars in the fridge and you could see here that the top layer is darker. So the rum is clearing little by little. And it's not instant, so it won't happen in a day or two. However, it's faster than just leaving it on the counter and waiting for the yeast to go to the bottom of the jar at room temperature. It gives it a little boost. And the fifth tip to clear rum, this is a kind of unusual one. It's uh, bentonite, so it's crushed clay. Yes, clay like cement, like rocks. And wineries tend to use this to clear their wine. Um, personally, I have not used this. I'm scared that it'll taste like licking gravel. So let me know if you've used uh, bentonite in the past and does it affect the taste of your alcohol? You could drop a comment below with your experience. And if you have any other tips to clear rum, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.